Suppose we want to compute 2 plus 3 plus 5. We know how to add two integers at a time, but here there are three integers. What do we do? Do we add them all at once? Do we add them two at a time? If so, which two do we start with? If we wanted to add them all at once, we could make three piles of marbles, representing each number. The first pile has two marbles, the next pile has three marbles, and the last pile has five marbles. To add these three numbers together, just combine them all into one pile and count. We see there are 10 marbles altogether. This is one way to do it, but we want to get fast at addition. We don't want to carry a bag of marbles with us everywhere we go. And there is no way we can memorize the sums of all possible combinations of three integers. So instead, we'll compute 2 plus 3 plus 5 by adding them two at a time. But which two do we start with? Do we first add 2 plus 3? Or do we first add 3 plus 5? How do we group the integers? Well, this is your lucky day, because the associative property says that it does not matter how you group the integers. It doesn't matter how they're associated before you add them. Let's see this in action. First, let's add 2 plus 3. We show this by grouping them with parentheses. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So now we have 5 plus 5. You can get rid of the parentheses if there is just a single number inside. Next, 5 plus 5 equals 10. Let's do this a second time, and this time we'll start with 3 plus 5. Again, surround them with parentheses to show we're doing this addition first. 3 plus 5 equals 8, so we're left with 2 plus 8. And 2 plus 8 equals 10. We get the same answer. This is the associative property. When you're adding a bunch of integers together, you add them two at a time. But you can group them however you like. Let's take a moment to think about the name. A group of people who work together are often called associates. The associative property is about grouping numbers instead of people.